Alright, what's up? Coach Jesse Minch here with GetHandles.com. Got some basketball answers for you today. Today's question is actually from a while ago, back from in April. So it took me a while, but I'm getting back to you. I left it on my Facebook wall. That's facebook.com slash get handles. If you leave a comment on the wall there or a comment down below in any of these basketball answers videos, that's one of the best ways to get my attention for me to do a, a video for you and give you an answer. So today's question is though from Patrick Joseph Garcia Victoria. And he says, can you teach me how to enhance my dribbling? I'm very sick of losing the ball when I'm dribbling it. Yes, I can. I could definitely help you. Um, if there's anything I know about it, it's, it's dribbling the basketball. So first things first, you want to make sure that you have your mechanics in check when you're dribbling the basketball. And the main thing to making sure that you're keeping good control of the basketball is what I call high ball and hand time. Now, it might sound a little bit weird, but the idea behind it is very simple. When you dribble your bas the basketball, there's a, a period of time when the ball is out of your hand and then when it comes back in into it. So the time the ball is in your hand, you want to maximize. So you want the ball to be in your hand more than it's out of your hand. It, you want it to be in your hand as long as possible for, for the majority of dribbles. By practicing that and, and making sure the ball is in your hand as much as possible, you're going to greatly enhance the amount of control you have, have over the basketball. So for you know trying to work on not losing the basketball, that's the number one thing you can do. Making sure you have you know your, your fingers to control the basketball, making sure you have a nice wide base and gripping the basketball. But on top of that, it's the high ball and hand time, getting in your athletic stance. Those are the things that are really going to help you. Um, so, you know, just think of it this way. If the ball's not in my hand, you know, like right now, see, I set it, I set it to the side here. I have no control over the basketball. You know, each time you dribble the basketball, there's a period of time where it's out of your hand where you don't have control over it. So, you know, if you're playing outside and it hits a stone, it could go bouncing kind of weird. Uh, if it's a flat basketball, it's not going to bounce up quite as high. So by getting your hands closer to the ground and closer to the basketball in each dribble, you're going to eliminate some of that air. You know, if it bounces off a stone and it's going to, you know, send it in a trajectory where it's going to bounce up higher than normal, more straight up, or, you know, versus where it normally would go like this, by having your hand closer to the basketball after it bounces off that stone or whatever, you're going to be able to get control of it qu more quickly and, you know, kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, adjust for that mistake, you know, or not the mistake, but adjust for that un unforeseen circumstance, that stone on the ground. So, you know, same thing would apply as if the basketball is more flat or more bouncy. By putting your hands closer together, closer on the ground, especially on your crossovers, you're going to eliminate a lot of that kind of uh, uncertainty of what's going to happen with the basketball if you're, you know, using a basketball I've been used before, if you're playing outside or, you know, even indoor courts, there's a lot of dead spots. So by increasing the amount of time your hand is on the basketball for each dribble, you're going to greatly improve your control over it. So kind of a long-winded answer for a real basic idea, but I wanted to make sure, you know, I explained it well so it makes sense to you and, and you understand why it's important and how it's going to help you. And then the other thing too is by having the hand, hand with the basketball for a longer period of time on each dribble, you know, if a defender, you know, comes up on you and you have to move the basketball, you have the ability to move it now, right? In and out dribble, crossover, whatever it is that you need to do. You have that ability to do that because the basketball is in your hand. If the ball is not in your hand and a defender comes up on you and you're dribbling it all, slapping it, and the ball is just kind of floating in air for a second there, you, you have no option to move the basketball again. So by keeping it in your hand at all times, you, you can more quickly react to what's going on in the game as well. So tons of benefits to that. Um, I actually have a full program on that called Ball on a String. Um, if you're interested in that, head over to GetHandles.com. Uh, pop in your email there. I'll actually, first of all, I'll send you a free uh, ball handling workout and guide that will definitely help you improve your ball control immensely. So make sure you head over there. Um, as soon as you pop in your email, I send that out to you like right away. So no waiting for that. So make sure you grab that free workout and guide. And then of course, like I said, I have my ball on a string program, which is going to help you a lot with improving your ball control. It's all about increasing your ball on hand time, your, your arsenal moves, your ball handling and ability in general, your control in general. So that'll definitely help you from, you know, keeping from losing the basketball when you're playing, whether it's games, practice, you name it. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this helped you. I'm pretty sure it did. If you, if you put into practice what I talked about, I'm sure you're going to see a big difference. But if it did help you, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below so you can catch all the newest basketball answers, tips, tutorials, and drills that I'm coming out with on this channel. Me and Coach Shooty. And then, if you know, once again, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I'll try to get as many answers for you guys as I can. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.